But Trevor, you've been tracking this all morning. Yeah, that's right, y'all. In fact, the hurricane actually making landfall pretty much as we speak. You can see on the radar that center of Adalia, the eye of the storm coming on shore pretty much right now south of Tallahassee. So if landfall has not officially been called, it will be happening within a matter of minutes. Again, this is in the big bend of Florida. So we're talking about really between Tallahassee and Tampa, just to the north of Horseshoe Beach. That is where landfall is going to be. And as we zoom out, you can see this is a pretty large storm, even though the center of the storm is well north of Tampa. We still have several rain bands stretching throughout Florida down through Tampa, and you can actually see how the wind is coming in off the shore inland, and that is causing what we call storm surge. And this is actually the deadliest part of the hurricane. It's when the winds take the ocean water and shove it on land and it causes the water to rise by several feet for areas right along the coastline. Uh, so your storm surge forecast for the area that's seeing the landfall up in the Big Bend, 12 to 16 feet of water rising right along the coastline. Even in Tampa, several miles from the center of the hurricane, that water in Tampa Bay expected to rise three to six feet. And we're actually seeing that right now. This is a live picture uh, from the interstate in Tampa, and you can see that the water from the ocean is being shoved on shore by the wind, and it's causing that water to rise over the interstate. So those lanes of the interstate are closed, and of course that storm, storm surge is going to be even worse the further north you go, the closer you are to the center of the hurricane. But again, landfall pretty much happening right now as a Category 3 hurricane. Winds 125 miles an hour, now moving up toward Gainesville and eventually toward Jacksonville. It's going to bring very heavy rain and gusty winds to southern Georgia, South Carolina, and the North Carolina coast before it finally spins back out to sea and moves away from the United States by the end of the week and into the weekend. So Adalia is not going to be an impact for us here in Memphis. In fact, we're going to have some pretty nice weather. It's a little cool this morning, 62 in Blytheville, 63 in Corinth, 68 in Memphis, sunshine for everybody and that's going to be the case pretty much all day lots of sunshine a couple of clouds much like yesterday we'll see high temperatures in the mid to upper 80s a little closer to 90 in some spots but it is going to feature some lower humidity and a nice northerly breeze 15 to 20 mile an hour winds so that's going to help to keep us a little more comfortable even though we are going to be a little bit warmer today high around 87 this afternoon 84 tomorrow with low humidity nice weather continues for friday 88 and less muggy air going to stick around. That's some good news. But as we go into your Labor Day weekend, that is when the warm weather and the humidity builds back in. It's going to be a muggy holiday weekend, but still sunshine and hardly no chance of rain here for the next seven days.